Uh, hey, Daddy, what you doing? Uh, well, Jeffy, I just got done cleaning up the attic, and I found an old box of stuff from when I grew up. You want to see? Yeah, Daddy, what's in the box? Uh, oh, look, my old Pac-Man machine. I used to play this for hours. I loved it. That's so cool, Daddy. Can I see it? Well, yeah, you can play with it. Do whatever you want with it. I'm going to check this bitch. What? Uh, what? Jeffy, do not throw my stuff! I'm sorry, Danny. It's old and sentimental and stuff. It means something to me. Aww. Oh, look! My old guitar! I used to pick up so many women with this. Oh, that's so cool, Danny! Can I see it? Yeah, I don't even know how to play it. <clears throat> what? Jeffy, I said do not throw my stuff! I'm sorry, Danny, I forgot! I picked up women with that! Oh, uh, oh look! My old pencil girlfriend! One of the girls I picked up with my guitar, you know. Oh, can I see it, Danny? No, I used to make out with her. You're not gonna touch her. No. Oh, look! <clears throat> My old joke toothpaste! Aw, oh, damn it, Daddy! You got toothpaste on the couch! What's a joke, Jeffy? It's not real. Wow. Oh. oh, look! And my old, uh, my old teddy bear! I used to take him everywhere! I loved him! Oh, Daddy! Can I please see a teddy bear? He looks so cute! Well, well no, Jeffy. I, I love it. It was my best friend. I, I don't want you to get him dirty or anything. Daddy, I won't get him dirty. I just want to see how soft he is! Yeah, look, you can hold him, but you oh. can't have him. Oh, Daddy! I love the bear so much! Can I please have him? No! He was my bear and he's my best friend and no one else can have him, no one can touch him. But Daddy, I love him so much! Can I please have the berry? Please! Well, I mean, I am old and I have no use for him, but he was my best friend. Please, Daddy? Alright, fine, Jeffy. You can have the bear, but <gasps> you better not lose him. Ah! Oh, thank you so much, Daddy! I love the berry so much! Give me a Mr. Berry going to the park! Yeah, just don't get him dirty and just please be safe with him. He was my best friend growing up. Yeah! Sometimes it's gotta grow up, you know. Hey, <laughs> right, Mr. Barry, you ready to have fun in the park? Let's go! Hey, right, Mr. Barry, you wanna play hide and seek? I'll go hide and you can. Uh, Jeffy, uh, how long have you been standing there? Oh, not long, Daddy. Just long enough to see you stick that pencil in your butt. Well, no, no, I didn't do that. I accidentally sat on it. I thought you were supposed to be at the park. Well, we weren't, Daddy. But, uh, but Barry told me something, so we came home early. Go ahead and tell him what you said, Barry. Oh, uh, Jeffy's a way better owner than you are, Daddy. All you did was keep me in a box for years, and Jeffy took me to a park and got me ice cream and shit. Well, Jeffy, that's, that's really nice that you did all that for Mr. Barry, but he had to go in the box because we were playing hide-and-seek for a very long time. But, yeah, so can you just leave me alone so I can have private time with a pencil? All right, Daddy, but real quick, can I take Mr. Barry to school? Yeah, you can do whatever you want with him. Just don't lose him or get him dirty or, 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 or destroy him, okay? Okay, Daddy. Come on, Mr. Barry. I'm going to show you to all my friends. Okay, where's that pencil at? All right, Crass. Today, we're going to be answering the question, why did the chicken cross the road? Very simple answer as to why chicken cross the road. Everyone knows the chicken cross the road to get to the egg roll on the other side. Egg roll very delicious and the chicken knows it. Very delicious egg roll. <gasps> the chicken crossed the road to get to the egg roll. Did you hear that, Mr. Barry? <laughs> Are you talking to your teddy bear, you loser? Yeah, because I sure as hell ain't talking to you. <laughs> what are you, two years old? Who even brings their teddy bear to school? You can't leave your house without your teddy bear? My teddy bear is my best friend, so leave me alone. <laughs> Why? Because you don't have any real friends to hang out with? Oh, beat him up, Mr. Barry. <laughs> <laughs> you really think your teddy bear could beat me up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, stop it! <laughs> Put him down! Leave him alone! No, he's my teddy bear now. Oh, teacher, this kid stole my bear! Ah, oh, Jeffy, why are you crying like a real bitch? Buddy Bill, give your baby back your toys so he can stop crying. Uh, Alright, fine, here's your bear back, you little crybaby. <laughs> Hey everyone, he can't go to school without his little toy. <laughs> yeah, who brings a toy to school, you loser? Yeah, loser. Don't listen to him, Barry. One day you're going to be real, and you're going to prove him all wrong. <laughs> Daddy, I had a bad day at school. Well, what happened, Jeffy? Well, people were making fun of me because I was talking to Mr. Barry. Well, Jeffy, people probably don't think it's normal for you to talk to a stuffed animal. But he's my best friend. Daddy? I know, he was my best friend too, and I got made fun of when I took him to school. So, you know, how about you just go to bed and think about it? But it's 3.30 p.m., Daddy. Or you can just go to bed and let me have some private time. But it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I, I know, perfect time to go to bed. Everyone's tired at 3.30, right? But what about dinner? Uh, it's 
Give me green beans. Are you going to eat that? No. Well, they, there you go. You should go to bed because there's nothing eating to stay up for anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, Mr. Barry. I wish you were real. Then you could be up that boy that made fun of us. Then he'd really know you were real. Let's go to sleep, Mr. Barry. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Wake up. Anal. Jeffy, get up. It's time to go to school. <coughs> Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Just get up. <gasps> Where did my berry go? Je Jeffy, did you lose my teddy bear? You said you wanted to sleep with it, but you, you can't find it? Oh, no, Daddy. He was laying right here. And now he's not here. Jeffy, you better not have lost my teddy bear. That was my teddy bear from when I grew up with it. Well, Daddy, I don't know where he went. He must have ran away. Well, Jeffy, look. You have to go to school. We'll find him afterwards. But you better not have lost him. Come on. <laughs> Class. Today, we're going to be learning about hibernation. Hibernation is when bear eat too much food at Chinese buffet and you have to kick his ass out. $9.99 doesn't get you the whole buffet. It only get you two plates. And then they want to turn around and sleep for six months to let food digest. No. So the moral of the story here is, kids, is that bear no longer allowed in Chinese buffet. It make us go bankrupt. <sighs> Hey loser, where's your teddy bear? I don't see it. Is it doing hibernation like the teacher said? No, he ran away. Teddy bears can't run away, retard. They're not alive. Oh, <gasps> Barry, you came back? What? 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 what, what, what? Oh, beat that ass, Barry! Clap them cheeks! Beat that ass, Barry! Go! Oh, that's a big bitch. You try to get more than two plates? So much fun! You wanna go play hide and seek? Yay! <laughs> well, I'm gonna go hide. You count. Oh my God! Is that a bear in a park playing hide and seek with children? This is dangerous. I gotta go alert the news. Breaking news, okay? A bear is running loose at a children's park. Let's cut to our live helicopter feed now. Oh my God! What you're watching is live footage of a bear trying to eat children at a park. He can smell the blood. This is Winnie the Pooh, and he's looking for his honey. And his honey is children's blood. It now appears that he has settled for a toucan. Oh my god, if you have small children, turn them away now, as he is violating this toucan. And it also appears that we have some onlookers videotaping and laughing. Wow. What a disgrace. This is no laughing matter. I'm getting word now that police are on the scene and are going to attempt to stop this bear. Oh man, Mr. Barry, you found me! Oh my god, that bear's about to attack that child. It's a good thing I brought my gun that's just painted to look like a Nerf gun just so I could shoot it in the playground, even though it's a very real gun that fires real bullets that definitely will kill him, because it's a real gun and not a Nerf gun. Get away from that kid, you son of a bitch! Bang! Uh oh, uh oh, he's coming at me. <laughs> stay away, stay away, bang! Oh, I got him, I actually got him! No! Ah! <laughs> oh, Daddy! Ah, Jeffy, I broke my pencil. <laughs> my teddy bear got shot. Wait, wait what? Uh, turn on the news and find out. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Police have shot and killed the bear that was running around the children's park. Here's Officer Brooklyn T. Guy with a statement. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Brooklyn T. Guy. I am the officer that shot and killed this bear. Uh, at the time of the attack, we thought it was a real bear, but after we get it back to the station and cut it open, we realized it's, it's just a teddy bear. It's a big old stuffed animal. 
Uh, we thought maybe there was a person in there, but no, no, nothing. It's it's just a big old, big old living teddy bear that was that was brought to life as if by a child's wish and nothing else. So uh, it's dead now. So um, oops. Shinge, look! Well, this doesn't make any sense. He wasn't alive. He's just a teddy bear. He was alive, Daddy. He was running around and we were playing at the park. Well, that doesn't make any sense, Jeffy. What? Oh, hold on, let me go into the door. Let me see what that is. Uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, I'm the cop that shot your son's living teddy bear, and I just wanted to bring you his corpse in case your son still wants to play with him. Uh, normally that would sound really bad, but he's just a stuffed animal. And now that I'm looking at him, I, I probably should have known that he was a stuffed animal, not a real bear. But I was feeling really trigger happy, and it just felt good to shoot something. But anyway, I, I just came to apologize, so uh, here's my apology. <sighs> All right. I've, I've never been very good at apologies. Uh, bye. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, I got your teddy bear back. Oh, I liked him better when he was alive. Well, Jeffy, teddy bears aren't supposed to be alive. I mean, when I was younger, I wish he was alive, but look, now you have a huge teddy bear, and bigger is always better. That's what she said. Oh, I guess so, Daddy. Well, look, just grab him and go lay down with him. Look, you can lay on him like this. Look, you can make teddy bear angels. <laughs> yeah, just pick him up and go back to your room. Oh, man, Barry. Why'd you have to get shot? <sighs> I wish you were alive again. Oh. <laughs> Where's your stupid giant bear? He died. <laughs> he deserved it. Barry, you're alive? Oh no. <laughs> Man, it's nice to lay down and relax after a long day of working. Hey, Chef Pee Pee! What do you want, Bowser? I just laid down! Well, I need to talk to you. <sighs> okay, Bowser, what do you want to talk about? Well, what did you do today? Did you do anything different? No, I just cooked and cleaned like I do every day. Hmm, that's nice. Well, I just wanted to let you know that I installed cameras all around the house to keep my eye on you. Wait, what? Well, what did you do that for, Bowser? To keep my eye on you, you idiot. And I think we should watch today's footage to see what you did. Hmm, watch it with me. <laughs> Hey, Chef Pee Pee! What, Bowser? When's my food gonna be ready? Well, I'm cooking it right now. It should be ready soon. Well, if it's not ready in five minutes, I'm gonna punch you in the face! Oh, I can't stand Bowser! He's always yelling at me, wanting me to do stuff. Oh, you want your food, Bowser? You want it so bad? <sighs> yeah, that'll teach him. <laughs> Taste my spit. <laughs> Can you give me a glass of water before I go to bed? Ah! Here's your water, bed wetter! <laughs> Chef Baby! Take that pussy! Chef Baby! Ooh, yeah. Get it all off, Pee Pee. <laughs> I hope you like the taste of pubes, Bowser. I haven't bathed in weeks. <laughs> you see what you did, Chef Baby? Look, Bowser, I can explain. I want you to pee in my food, not spit in it. Wait, what? Look, that was unacceptable. Now I gotta cut your pay. Wait, I only make five dollars a month. Now it's two fifty. So sit right there and think about what you did. <laughs> Man, I hate my life. I wish I could just disappear and never come back. <laughs> hey, Chef Pee Pee. What you want, nigga? Uh, I I can't sleep. Can we play a game? Play a game? I just want to be sleep right now, Junior. Well, I can't sleep. I really want to play a game. Like, why don't we play hide and seek together? Hide and seek? What am I, five? Well, come on, Chef Pee Pee. I'll let you hide first. Hide first? Yeah, I'll let you hide. Go try to find a really hard hiding spot where I can never find you. Never find me? Yeah, a really hard hiding spot. Oh, I like this. I like this. Okay, Junior, we can play hide and seek. All right, I'll, I'll start counting. What number do you want me to count to? A hundred. Okay. A thousand. Hundred thousand? Mm-hmm. I don't think I can count that high. Well, you better try, Junior, or you're never gonna find me. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, one, <laughs> two, three, four. So where should I hide? Where should I hide? I don't want anybody to ever find me. 
the attic. Nobody ever goes up there. That's the perfect hiding spot. <laughs> okay, I'm in the attic. Man, this is actually pretty nice. It's quiet up here. I don't have to worry about anybody bothering me or wanting to cook or clean or even Bowser wanting me to do any other stuff. Ooh, ooh. And Junior would never find me. <laughs> now I can just lay back and relax. <laughs> 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, uh, 100,000. Ready or not, Chef PB, here I come. Okay, where would Chef PB hide? Um, well, he's a chef, so he would obviously hide in the oven. Um, he'd obviously hide in the microwave. No, uh, he'd obviously hide in the cabinet. Uh, Where's Chef PB hiding at? Uh, in the trash can? No. In the pantry? No. In the refrigerator? No. Huh? Where's Chef PB at? Chef PB? Chef PB? Huh? Anywhere. He's really good at hiding. Oh. Chef Pee Chef Pee No, it's us, dude. What's up, Junebug? What are you guys doing here? It's really late. Oh, uh, me and my parents got in a big fight because they caught me and Ken boinking, so we figured we'd just come over here till things cool down. Oh, uh, well, what about you, Joseph? Oh, dude, I usually just sleep in your bushes. My bushes? Why don't you sleep at your house? Oh, dude, I locked myself out. The rats have taken over. Oh. Oh, well, I kind of I kind of need you guys' help, so can you come inside? Yeah, dude. All right. So what do you need help with, dude? Yeah, Junior, do you need somebody to help you practice making out? Because I'm really good. You can just ask Ken here. I do full tongue. I'm like a snake. No, I don't need help with that. I need help finding Chef Pee Pee. Oh, is he missing? Kind of. I mean, we're playing hide and seek, and I can't find him. Well, have you looked everywhere? Yeah, the kitchen. So you basically just looked in the kitchen. Well, that's where Chef Pee Pee's always at, is the kitchen, so I only looked in the kitchen. Stop bothering me. Well, maybe he could be hiding somewhere else. Like, like where? Like the moon? No, Junior, somewhere else in the house. Oh, well, I don't know where he's at. Maybe he ran away, dude. You think he ran away? Did, did Chef Pee Pee really run away? It's possible. Guys, he's a grown man, not a puppy. That wouldn't be running away. That's just called leaving. Oh, well, well I give up, Chef Pee Pee. If you're hiding, come out. I give up. He's not coming out, guys! I don't know where he's at! Ooh, I have an idea. What? Why don't we just try to get your dog to find him? Cody, are you stupid? How's my dog gonna find him? I can't find him. How's my dog gonna find him? Well, no, we could just give your dog some of Chef Pee-Pee's clothing, and then he could smell it and use that scent to find Chef Pee-Pee. Like a police dog! Yeah! Well, I mean, uh, does your dog know how to do that, though, dude? I don't know. Um, let me see. Choppy! Chompy! Who's your good boy? Okay, all I need now is a piece of Chef Pee Pee's clothing. Oh, I got you covered there, Junior. Boom! Wait, what is that? That is Chef Pee Pee's underwear. How'd you get Chef Pee Pee's underwear? Oh, I have a personal collection. That's like a trophy, and he was sweating a lot in those, let me tell you. Oh, okay, well, uh, all right, Chompy, smell the underwear. Do you know where Chef Pee Pee is? What? 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 He... There. He's looking at the ceiling. You stupid dog, he's not on the ceiling. What an idiot dog. Yeah, and Chompy, Chef Pee-Pee's not Spider-Man. He can't be on the ceiling. Get out of here. Oh, stupid dog. That didn't work. It didn't work. Well, Cody, your stupid dog idea didn't work. Well, Junior, it's your dog. It's not my fault he's an idiot. Hey, you don't call my dog an idiot. I don't come to your house and call your mom fat. Yes, you do, Junior. You do that all the time. I know, but that's because she is. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, no, Junior, your dog is an idiot. He can't even perform simple tasks. He can perform simple tasks. He can, uh, he can, uh, lick peanut butter off anything you put it on. Anything? Yeah, like, literally anything. Like, if you put peanut butter on a spoon, he'll lick it off for hours. Really? Yeah, this one time, I put peanut butter on my hand, and he kept licking it over and over and over again. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what, Junior? I, I feel really bad for calling your dog an idiot. I, I think I'm gonna go apologize. Yeah, you should. Go apologize to him right now. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm gonna go do. Uh, yeah, go do it. Come on, Ken. I don't call my dog an idiot. So, Joseph, what am I do about Chef Pee-Pee? I don't know where he's at. Mm, I don't know, dude. Uh, Junior, uh, where is your peanut butter? Oh, uh, uh, are you making a sandwich? Y yeah, 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 you, you could say that. Uh, for your dog. Oh, for me, really. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's uh, for the both of us, yeah. Oh, well, the peanut butter should be in the pantry. Pantry. Got it. 
I just, I'm really afraid that Shay could be left forever, and I really want to find him. Well, why don't you file a missing persons report with the police? We can call him right now, dude. With the police? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, that, that, that's getting a little too serious. I mean, all we were doing was playing hide and seek. I uh, mean, Junior, uh, so the peanut butter was not in the pantry. Is there anywhere else it could be? Not in the pantry, uh... It could be in the refrigerator. Refrigerator. All right. Thank you. Like if I call the cops and Sheppy B's like hiding like behind the couch or something, they're gonna get I'm gonna get in trouble, right? I mean, he should have came out by now, dude. I think it's pretty serious. You should call the police. Yeah, you're right, Joseph. I'm gonna call the police. Okay, dude. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah. Hey, you called the file a missing persons report? Oh uh, yeah. My personal chef is missing. Oh, boo hoo. Poor you. Oh, you gotta cook for yourself now. What? What? Do you need help finding your maid too? Well, he kind of was a maid too. Oh. Oh, wow, what a loss. Oh, who's gonna clean for you and cook for you? Oh, that's so sad. Well, he's also my best friend. <sighs> All right, fine. Oh, come on in. All right, kid, tell me what happened. All right, so me and my personal chef were playing hide and seek, and I can't find him. You motherfucker, you're wasting police resources! 911 is for serious emergencies only! Stop it, stop it, please! Stop it! Sorry, alright? I just get so mad when you waste my time like that. Well, I've been playing hide and seek with Chef Pee and I can't find him, and I already told him I'd give up, and his it came out! Well, get good, scrub! I'm a hide and seek master! I find bodies all the time! Dead ones! You might as well call me Officer Paul, because I'm seeing dead bodies all the time! Well, do you think you can help us find him? No, it's not my fault that you suck at hide and seek. Please, please, you're a police officer. You're supposed to help. Can you help us find Chef PB, please? All right, fine. Let me show you how a pro plays hide and seek. Hmm. Do you know where he's at? I get the feeling he's around here somewhere. But, but this is the front door. Hmm, let's take a look here. Uh huh. But that's outside. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I suck at hide and seek. Wait. What? Hey, get back here! Huh? Well, Joseph, the cop didn't help. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what to say. Well, where's Chef PB at? We're never gonna find him. Oh, dude, what if he's dead? Don't say that. Don't you say Chef PB's dead? I'm, I'm sorry, dude, but it's a possibility. People die every day, Junior. Well, I mean, I'm gonna ask my dad where he's at. Maybe my dad knows. Uh, okay. Dad, dad, dad! What do you want, Junior? Have you seen Chef PB anywhere? Yeah, the last time I seen him, he wasn't peeing in my food. Oh, well, how long ago was that? Oh, it was a few hours ago. He was laying on the couch. Oh, well, me and Chef PB are playing hide and seek and I can't find him. Wait, he's hiding? Yeah. From me? Oh, there's no way. Look, Junior, I hid cameras all around the house so he can't hide. What, you did? Yeah, so let's check the cameras. Okay. Mm. Come back here, dog. Lick the peanut butter. Junior, what is this stupid friend doing to our dog? Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, check another camera. I'm gonna check the outside camera. Mm. Oh, I guess I gotta sleep in the bushes. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, so prickly. Wait, Junior, why is your friend trying to sleep in our bushes? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't really have a house. But uh, check, check another camera. All right, I'm gonna check the upstairs camera. Mm. <laughs> gonna find me. I'm gonna hide in the attic. <laughs> Aha, he's in the attic. In the attic. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get him, Dad. All right, go get him, son. Oh, man, that was a relaxing nap. <laughs> oh, ooh, I gotta pee really bad. Um, ooh, but I can't go downstairs because I don't want anybody to find me. I'm not ready to go back to my ordinary life. Um, where can I pee? Ooh, maybe I can go and pee over here. <laughs> I can't believe Chef PB was hiding in the attic. <laughs> what, Chef PB, are you okay? What you want, nigga? Well, Chef PB, I found you. Tag, you're it. Huh. All right, I'm gonna go hide. It's time for you to count. Um, can I help you? Yeah, you're in my seat. No, this is my seat. No, actually, this is my seat. I don't see your name on it. Well, actually, you do. See, it says Cody right there. That's me. Oh, well, I'm not moving. But you just clearly saw this is my seat. It has my name. Cody, it's not your seat anymore. It's Harry's seat. You haven't been to school in months. Yeah, dude. But, but this is my seat. Why don't you run along and stick your little toy up your bum? What do you think I've been doing for the last few months? Get out of here, weirdo! <sighs> okay, Ken. Daddy has to do some business. Hey, bro, you want to fight? Because I'll fight. All right, bring it. Okay, well, uh, hold me back, Ken. Uh, hold me back. Hold me back. I'm going to hit him. Uh, let go of me, Ken. Uh, uh. He's not holding you back, dude. He's at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. He, he's really strong. You're lucky my boyfriend's here to hold me back, right? Break your jaw. You wouldn't do anything. Uh, uh, yeah, well, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to tell the teacher. 
Teacher, he's in my seat. Snitch. Oh, do you hear something, Krauss? It sounds like a student who hasn't been at school in a few months. Oh, come on. I didn't want to get sick. Well, if you're so afraid of getting sick, why don't you go sit by yourself in the closet? In the closet? But I already came out. Go sit in the closet, weirdo. But how am I going to learn anything if I'm in the closet? Well, you didn't learn anything the last few months you missed school. Burn! Come on, Ken. We don't need them. Stupid, dumb closet. Dumb teacher. You know what? I like it in here. The closet is for the cool kids. All the cool kids are in the closet. That's right, it's me and you, Ken. You hear that, everybody? All the cool kids are in the closet. What are you saying, Cody? I can't hear you. I said all the cool kids are in the closet. The cool whip is where? No, the, the cool kids are in the closet. All right, Kraus, stop talking. Does anybody know the answer to this calculus problem? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know. The answer is 18x squared minus 9. Very good, Harry. That is correct. Now, does everybody see how Harry got the right answer? Wow, Harry, you're a genius. Yeah, dude, you're the smartest kid on earth. Thank you. Oh, come on, teacher. That answer was easy. I knew that. Cody, get back in your closet! <sighs> Stupid Harry. Everyone thinks he's so smart. You don't think he's smart, do you, Ken? 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 What? What's going on here? What? What's that, Ken? What? You want to be with him because he's smarter than me? Oh, that is it. You can steal my seat, and you can steal my smartest kid in the class status, but you cannot steal my boyfriend. You want to go? Oh, yeah, we're going. No, fine! What's 98 times 73? 7,154. What's 54,980 divided by 5? 10,996. What does E equal? MC squared. What's the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Recite pi. 3.14152653589. All right, break it up, nerds. I don't want any more bloodshed. There's only one way to solve this. We're going to have the smartest kid in the class competition. And Cody, Harry, you two are going to go home and invent something. And then tomorrow, you're going to show the inventions off to the crafts. And whoever has the best invention will be known as the biggest nerd in the crafts. And the loser is going to be known as the stupidest kid in the crafts and have to sit in the closet for the rest of the year. Oh, you're on. I'm going to be the biggest nerd in the class. I hope you enjoy that closet, because you're going to be sitting in there for a long time. I bet you're not even going to show up for school tomorrow. Oh, I'll be here with your boyfriend wrapped around my arm and with the coolest invention. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, in your heart back, Ken. <laughs> I have to win this competition. I have to invent something way cooler than Harry's invention so I can get my seat and my boyfriend back. Ah, but what do I invent? Ooh, if I make this basketball shot, then I'm gonna win the competition, and Harry's an idiot, and I'm the best. <clears throat> ow, ow, Jesus! Oh, okay, okay, that one didn't count. That didn't count. Okay, okay, this time, if, if, if I make this basketball shot, then I'm gonna win the competition, and everyone's gonna say that I'm the hunkiest, and the coolest, and the smartest, and then Harry's just gonna disappear off the face of the earth. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Oh, that was so close! Oh, okay, that one didn't count either. That one didn't count. This one. This one counts. If I make this one, then everyone's gonna say that I'm the smartest and the best. <sighs> okay, this time, if I make it, then I, I'm smart and... I, I don't know. Just please make it. <clears throat> Dang it! Okay, maybe I should focus less on playing basketball and more on inventing. Ooh, ooh! What if I invented a robot that could play basketball? Yeah, or, or I can invent a basketball that goes in the hoop when you throw it! Okay, Cody, it's time to get serious. Let's see, um... Ooh, what if I invented a hat that whenever you wore it, it would tell you what house you belong to in Harry Potter? No, that's stupid. Um, ooh, what about a blanket that whenever you wore it, it turned you invisible? Like, like an invisibility cloak? No, that's stupid too. Mm. Maybe I should just sneak over to Harry's house and see what he's inventing so I can get some ideas. Not not, 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 not because I'm stupid, but, but because I'm curious. Y yeah, I'll do that. Okay, this is Harry's house. Now to just peep in the window and see what I see. Uh-oh. Oh, his dad's changing. Uh, well... Eh. All right, let's see what Harry's inventing. Yes! Yes! I think I've done it! Mother, I found the cure for cancer! That's very nice, Harry. Are you going to take that to school for your invention tomorrow? Yes, Mother! And I'm going to beat that nincompoop, Cody!
What? There's no way I can beat that. Uh, I gotta get home and invent something. Oh man, there's no way I'm gonna win tomorrow. Harry made the coolest invention in the world. I can't beat that. I just have to invent something. Man, I gotta think about this. No, no, not now. No, no. Okay, fine. Wait, I've got it! Why don't I invent a stupid ray, and then I can shoot Harry with it so he'll be too stupid to show his invention? Yeah, that's it! But that would be cheating, and cheating is wrong, I think. I have to go ask my dad for advice about this. Uh, Dad? Yes, sir? Is cheating bad? Is cheating bad? What's wrong with you, boy? Look, I think that we need to have a talk. The answer is simple, son. Cheating is not bad! It's only bad when the woman does it, because she does it out of love. We as men, we only do it off of impulse. It's only lust. Think about it. If you're married to a four and a ten calls you, you gotta do it. It's, it's only simple math, son. So cheating's not bad? No! Look, cheating is like wheels on a car. You ain't gonna get nowhere if you don't cheat. Oh. Yeah, yeah. See, cheating is also complicated, though. So, you know, you gotta block calls, block texts. Sometimes you, you even gotta turn off your location. Oh, but what happens when you get caught? Oh, you gotta lie. Lie, lie, lie. Even if you're caught red-handed, lie again. See, lying is like the steering wheel to the car that you're cheating in. It's gonna get you to wherever you need to go to cheat. Oh, so you're saying I need to cheat to get what I want. Mm-hmm, exactly. Let me tell you a story, son. I cheated on your mama last night. Wait, is this hypothetical? No, it's a real story, shush. Oh. Yeah, I went to the grocery store and I seen this girl with a whole lot of wop. What's WAP, Dad? Oh, it's waffles and pancakes, all in a bucket. Yeah, yeah, I saw that WAP, and I was like, mm, I'm hungry, I want some breakfast. So, I asked her about a WAP, and I ate a WAP. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, good WAP. Uh, oh, oh, wait, Dad, I, I think I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, so I should cheat. Exactly, you always gonna win if you cheat. Oh, okay, thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm here for, son. All right, I've done it. I've invented the stupid ray. Now, tomorrow at school, whenever I shoot Harry with this, he'll be too stupid to show his invention. I just have to make sure I go before him. Huh, now I have to try it. But on who? <laughs> Joseph, what's wrong with you? I'm so ready for this competition. Oh, Harry, what did you invent? It's a secret. Hey, idiot, you ready to lose? You're gonna lose, four eyes. But, but we both were... You know what? It doesn't matter. What'd you invent? Your urine samples? Drink some water. You'll just have to wait and see. What did you invent? A stupid little toy? No. I bet you'd like to know what I invented. That's why I asked. Oh, don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> All right, Kraus. Today is the smartest nerd competition. It's gonna be Cody versus Harry. So who wants to go first? Potatoes! <laughs> ooh, ooh, me, 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 it's Cody, Cody, I, Cody wants to go first, me! Hmm, who wants to go first? I've got me! Hmm. All right, Cody, I guess you can go first. Yes! All right, Cody, what did you invent? I invented a stupid ray. A stupid ray? Sounds pretty stupid. Oh, it is. Anybody I shoot with this gun becomes stupid. Well, how do we know if it works? I think we should try it on a volunteer from the class. Ooh, Harry, I think I see your hand up. I didn't have my hand up. Thank you so much for volunteering, Harry. What a good sport. Wow, Cody, what a cool invention. Now go back to your seat in the closet. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Harry, you're up next. Come on. Harry, you have to go up there. What does that mean? You have to take your adventure up there. Go up there. Go up there. Go up there. Just take one of those and go up there. Back up there, okay. What did you invent, Harry? What is that? <laughs> Oh, let's all give Harry a big round of applause. Wow, that was just incredible. Truly, truly inspiring stuff. Oh, man. I don't know if I won this one. Man, too close to call. All right, Crass. Based off what I've seen, the winner of the Smartest Nerd competition is Cody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, take that, Harry, you doofus. I won. I'm the smartest nerd. Oh, yeah, yeah, you take that. I'm the smartest, <laughs> smartest nerd in the... 
in that class. Oh man, this isn't right. Eh, what would Tom Brady do? Go to the Buccaneers? That's not right, I can't do this. Teacher, I don't deserve to win. What do you mean, Cody? Well, you see, I only won because I played dirty. I shot Harry with my stupid ray so that he'd be too stupid to show his invention. So you outsmarted him! Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, I did outsmart him! It, 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 that means I'm smarter than him! So that means I do deserve to win! <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me my seat back, Harry! <laughs> Alright, Harry, get in the closet, you idiot. Wait, Cody, are they gonna be dumb forever? No, it wears off after a few minutes. <laughs> oh, you dingus! You cheated! Well, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Now get in the closet. This won't be the end of me! <sighs> Whatever. Oh, Ken, you want me back? <clears throat> so, Cody, what was Harry's invention that you were so scared of? Oh, I don't know. It's like a, like a cure for something. I don't know. <clears throat> <sighs> so guys, you want to watch TV? Did, did, did you not wash your hands? <sighs> Ew. You can run. You can hide. But you will be... Seeked. Tonight. Hide and seek. The movie. It's in theaters. It's rated R. It's really scary. You have to watch it or you're a coward. It's scary. He hides. He seeks. He does everything. You will be found. You will die. It's scary. Go watch it right now. It's in theaters tonight. Go watch it. Rated R. Hide and seek. The movie. <laughs> That movie looks so scary! My heart is racing. Yeah, my heart's racing too. Dude, we have to see it though. We, we have, have to see it tonight. Tonight. Tonight, tonight. Yeah. Guys, we can't see it. It's rated R. What? what? Cody, I think you're just scared. Yeah. But no, guys, the movie's rated R. Rated R for scaredy cat, because you're <laughs> a big scaredy cat. It doesn't yeah. even yeah. start with an R. Well, the word rhyme starts with an R. Ooh, yeah, I'm right, I'm right, got it. God. Well, guys, it doesn't even matter, because we have to be 18 to see a rated R movie. What, 18? We look 18. Yeah. Yeah, I look 18. Guys, we do not look 18. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Cody, I mean, look at your big muscles. Yeah. Uh, only an 18-year-old have muscles like that. Uh, I mean, hunky I, muscles. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I look 18. Yeah, hunky. Yeah, yeah you're really yeah, hunky. You, you guys don't. We look 18. I'm 18. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm 18. deep in our foot. Yeah, hey, we're going we're gonna to at least try, Cody. Come on, let's try. <laughs> Right, wait, wait, wait. Fine. How are we going to get there, though? I got that covered, Joseph. He's a chef, and his name rhymes with teepee. <laughs> chef Baby! What's them? Can you take me and my friends to the movies? What, what? No, I'm cooking right now, idiot. But we want to go see Hide and Seek. Wait, that's a rated R movie. You can't see that. That's scary. Well, it's not scary. We can handle it, right, guys? We it's, can handle it. No, no, no. You're going to pee in the bed, and I have to wash your sheets, and I'm not going to wash your dirty sheets. I'm not going to pee in the bed. I promise you. Just take us. No, no. You're going to pee in the bed. Look, it's a rated R movie anyway. How did you plan on getting in? Uh, We were going to sneak in, right? Got to sneak in. Like, see, I can't lay allow you to sneak in. That's illegal, Junior. <sighs> Shut up, baby. You're such a square. Keep jacking my steez. What? And you're harshing my buzz, and me and my friends just want to go see a flick. Okay, so stop being a fart knocker and take us. Look, I don't care how many cool words you're trying to use. I don't care. It's not going to change my mind, okay? So just get out of my kitchen. Oh, come on, guys. Chef Pee Pee's a buzz killer. Aw, oh, guys, how are we gonna get to the movies? Uh, um, can we walk? Walk, Junior, it's like five miles. Yeah, what? dude. Is that far? Yeah. yeah. Well, how long would it take? Well, I don't know, Junior, a long time. Well, how long's a long time? I don't know, J Junior, we're not walking. Well, how are we supposed to get there, Cody? Ooh, my mom could drive us. What? She can? What? Yeah, dude, she has a license. But she's dead. Don't remind me! <laughs> Oh, just have your fit, Joseph. All right, Cody, how are we going to get to the movies? Oh, we could take an Uber. Is that a candy? No, no, it's kind of like a taxi, but it's somebody's personal vehicle, and they just, like, drive you around. Joseph, 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 huh? your crying is, like, up here. I need you to tone it down to, like, here. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. No, an Uber's like, like somebody drives you around in their car. What, what, like a stranger? Yeah, just like a stranger. But we're not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, it's worked okay for me so far. Well, all right, Cody, I'll trust you. Call an Uber, all right? Okay. Joseph, she's never coming back. Shut up. <laughs> all right, all done. Uh, it says he'll be here in 30 seconds. Wow, 30 seconds? Yeah, I guess he was just in the neighborhood. All right, so let's, let's head outside then, guys. <laughs> We're going to the movie. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir, are you our Uber? Yeah, are uh, you, um... Hunky Monkey 69? Yeah, yeah, that's me. What? Hunky uh, Monkey 69? So yeah. weird. Uh, okay, you guys can get in the back. All right. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, where are you going? Uh, we're going to the movie theaters. We're going to see the movie Hide and Seek. Oh, whoa, I heard that was a really scary movie. Yeah, really scary. We can't wait to see it. Yeah, and it's also rated R. you got to be 18 to get in there. Oh, uh, well, uh, we're, we're 18. But you're 18. Yeah, we're, we're, we're 18. Uh, I'm 18. Well, you kind of look like a child. Uh, actually, you kind of look like a turtle. A, wait, a, a talking turtle. What? What, what are you? What? You're, you're all a bunch of freaks! Jesus, get, get out of my car! What, well, what even are you? Go! Uh, go! Ugh. Aw, guys, how are we gonna get to the movies now? I don't know, I don't know dude. Um, we can still walk. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. All right, guys, let's start walking. It's not gonna take that long. It's only five miles. Uh, Come on, guys, we can do it! Miles, dude. Uh, uh. Cody, how much longer? Well, Junior, considering we can still see your house from here, I'd say we've been walking for like 30 seconds. So, like, we've walked a mile? No, Junior, a mile is 5,280 feet. Is that 5,280 feet? No, I'd say that's like 200 feet at best. So we only got 5,000 more feet to go, right? Well, times five, because it's five miles. Yeah. Yeah. Cody, can you carry me? No, Junior. Well, you're carrying Ken. Well, but, but... He... And you have muscles and you're hunky, so you could carry me, right? He does uh, have a point. I, I do have... Come on, carry me. At least carry me half the way. All right, climb on. Okay. <laughs> All right, Cody, go. I want to be carried. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here. <laughs> we made it to the movie theaters. Thanks, Cody. Hey, guys, just remember I'm hunky, okay? What all right, all right, Cody, this is the plan. Okay. You're going to go up there, and you're going to buy a ticket to Happy Pony 4. Th th that's out? Yes. Well, I, I really wanted to see that. Okay, so you're going to go buy a ticket for it, and then you're going to meet us at the side uh, entrance, okay? Okay, okay yeah, I, I can do that. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Do it right now. All right, Cody should be opening this door any minute. Okay, okay. <sighs> Where is he, Joseph? I don't know, dude. <sighs> happy Pony 4, Happy Pony 4, Happy Pony 4. Happy oh, my. Happy Pony 4 is amazing! <laughs> OMG, guys. Happy Pony 4 was the best. I mean, you, you don't even have to see the first three to get it. There's a musical in it. It's amazing. What the F, Cody? Yeah, dude, what the hell? We were waiting by the side entrance for two hours. Uh, yeah. Um, an hour and 58 minutes. And believe me, it was an hour and 58 minutes of pure joy. That was amazing. Cody, you're supposed to let us in so we can see Hide and Seek. Yeah, that's the movie we're trying to see, dude. Uh, all, right, all right, Joseph, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go buy a ticket to Happy Pony 4. Okay. And you're uh, uh, watch it, Joseph. It's great. No, you're not going to watch it. You're going to let us in the side entrance, okay? Uh, all right, I got it, dude. Oh, I got you. Cody, come on. Go, come on. All right, dude, come in. Right, go, 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 go. Oh my god, guys, I can't believe we stuck into a movie. I know, dude. It's so awesome. I can't wait to get scared, We're dude. We're so scared, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys, Happy Pony 4, though. Oh my god, the cinematography, it's Oscar worthy. It's gonna win. Go shut, shut up. up. The, the movie started, the movie started. Oh my god. Is that the secret? That's, Is that the secret? That, that, that's oh, secret. Yeah, so. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Yeah, me too. Ready or not, 
Here I go. Ah! He's coming! He's coming, Cody! I know. Ready or not, he's coming! Ah! Oh, I got I'm gonna find you. <laughs> I don't care where you're hiding. <laughs> I'm gonna find you. I'm the hide and seek master. I can find anybody. Gotcha! <laughs> I told you not to get up in my shit, man. I'm, I'm watching a scary movie. I'm not anxious. Back off, okay? Fuck. Oh, he got him, though. I, I know. He, he found him. Yeah, jeez. I was in tears. No, 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 no. Please don't kill me. Please. Please, please. Please don't kill me. What? what? It's your turn to find me. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, what? what? He, he didn't kill him? Yeah, I guess not. Wait, wait, the killer's gonna hide now? How, how does that work? I don't know. What? What, yeah. what is he? Ha ha ha! I found you! <laughs> Dang it! Yeah! Can I have my knife back? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Now I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> what? Ah! 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 Now he's killing him! Now he's killing him! Why would he find him? Why would he find him? Oh, he's too scared! Oh my god, guys. Oh, that movie was so scary. Right? Yeah. You, you remember when he hid? Uh -huh. You remember when he seeked? Oh, yeah. Oh, god, we shouldn't have watched it. We shouldn't have watched no, no, it. No, no, no. Oh, guys, I'm so scared. Drew, where did you go? Uh, uh, we, we, we went outside. Well, you were outside for a long time. Well, uh, we, uh, went and egged somebody's house, right? We egged somebody's house? Junior, that's way worse than what we really did. Yeah, we egged somebody's house. Oh, uh, why do you seem nervous then? No. Uh, b because the owner came out and while we were egging his house and we murdered him and we, we buried him in the backyard. Junior, stop confessing to things we didn't do. Oh, uh, well, okay then. Uh, as long as you didn't go to that movie. Uh, no, no, we, we didn't go see Hide and Seek. Yeah, this is the scariest movie we, ever. We, we saw Happy Pony 4. Happy wait, 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 you did go to the movies? Uh, yes, but we saw Happy Pony 4. Yeah. yeah. Cody, tell them about it. Tell them all about it. It was great. There was a musical and they sang a song about friendship. Oh my god, it was wonderful. Okay, okay, I guess so. Okay. Uh, oh, that was a close one, guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh my god, guys, that was way too close. Chevy be almost found out. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we should have seen that movie. We should have just saw Happy Pony 4. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Happy Pony 4 would have been yeah. a lot better because that movie was scary. <laughs> like, I'm talking super scary. Too scary, dude. Yeah. I feel like he found the seeker and the seeker still killed him. Yeah, <gasps> I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm gonna have nightmares. Oh god, don't remind 50. me. What? 49. Who's that? 48. Oh what is that? Oh my god, Junior, it's a seeker. <laughs> no, it's not. He knows we watched the movie. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I'm out, oh, dude. Oh, 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 oh,